and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I was just doing some experimenting with, I've had them quite a long time, I haven't got much left, with these Prism Pore Ultra Metallics. That one's Cryo Socola. I had them from Capriol Shabby Chic, the online store. There's a link underneath my video. So I mixed all the six colours that I have left here and I actually mixed them about 50-50. I thought, because um, I'm experimenting, I tried them with the Global Gloss Medium and Varnish because I thought, oh, if that dries really nice and shiny, then you've no need to varnish it afterwards. So I've mixed my colours that I have here, I'll show you as I go along, 50-50. Using all of the um, Prism Ultra, Prism Pore Ultra Metallics. So they're by Colour Art. Um, some absolutely gorgeous colours. They've got all sorts out, but I don't, I've never mixed them with this before and I'm not sure if anyone else has. I've made up some cell activator to create cells with this one is the purple um amsterdam i think it's um what's it called it is called can't see i haven't got my glasses and it's it's covered in paint in my bin but i will try and find so but i've made it up with uh, australian flow trial purple and i have got some just the, a little bit of the black left and I've got a little bit of the white. So these are Amsterdam paints mixed with Australian flow trolls seem to help you get really good cells. So trying those prism pour with this. Um, I did use previously some Joe Sonia's, but I'm experimenting with the Australian made product, which is available worldwide. Um, because I tried on this little brick, which I didn't have, was, wasn't running my camera at the time. And look how beautiful it turned out. So I thought I'll give it a go on a bigger canvas, uh, but not doing a traditional bloom. I just wanted to see if I can get these paints to perform a little bit differently, um, especially with that uh, change in pouring medium. This is just... Um, well, I call it black navy because I put phalo blue, I put half phalo blue and half black and uh, just make it with my clear pouring medium. So that's what I'm going to do as some of my base. And, ooh, and again, I've got the same in white. So I'm gonna actually do a black and white base and we'll see how we go. So I just want to do a bit of a different composition. So I'm going to try squares. This is a 40 by 40 canvas. So I want to just fill in my base first. You don't have to. Um, I mean, and, and like I said, I'm just testing these paints at the moment. So I'm going to just brush it in with my little sponge brush. I did just wash this canvas off, so I'm not sure. Hopefully it's not too wet to kind of um, spoil it or anything. So I'm gonna do half black like this in the squares, and I'm gonna do the other squares white. So just something different. You know, you just play around with composition and just try different things and if they work they work and they don't they don't i'm leaving this quite thick on the canvas because i do want to be able to blow my paint about so just put that out of the way so that's my black one and now i'll do the white side so black and white um i did have my other little sponge brush here so i'll just do the same again. It's on my spinner, this one, because I thought it might be easier for me just to turn it on the spinner to get to do different sides or see a different composition or 
whatever. So it's always worth having one of these little spinners because they're not, um, they can be very inexpensive. I know you can buy real good ones, but um, I can't even remember how much this one was. I think this one was from a homeware shop in Australia called uh, Spotlight. And I just use little shower caps over the top of my spinner to keep them clean. Um, seems the easiest, so you just change the shower cap every now and again when you want to put a clean bit on. Rightio. Like I said, I'm going to leave it a little bit thicker. A bit thicker. So, um, probably where I'm going to put my paint I'll just run a bit of that so I, I've got some you know something to blow when I want to blow the paint out so remember this is an experiment so I'm just trying you know as you do because this is how new things are found oh, so that's a little bit different I'm not sure if I've done that before but I probably have Right EO. I'm going to put some of this, whatever colour this is. This is the Chrysocola. Chrysocola. A uh, weird name to say, but anyway. I might do actual, instead of, oh, it's coming out quite thick, isn't it? I should have just maybe. Wow wait um just done it with my little stirrer like i said i've mixed it 50 50 with that pouring medium and gloss varnish so um i got a good result doing that tiny little brick there so i'm just hoping that it works on a bigger canvas i've just wanted to try and do this on a bigger canvas so you've got to give it a go haven't you Um, maybe I'll put a bit of, I'm going to try a bit of the cell activator. Oh, that's not mixed up real good. No, oh, maybe I've put too much. Um, I might stick with the same as what I did for the other one, which was, oh, nothing's working for me today. I've had, I had a whole week of that last week and I didn't think it would be the same this week. Um, what was that second colour I put down was, I think, let's have a look, Egyptian coin it's called. So it's a goldy colour. Now I'm going to go for this really pop your socks off hot orchid. Look how beautiful that is. So I've just put a little bit of that. This is really quite thick, but I probably should have done it like that more so so you don't get a big blob. So I've probably already <laughs> ruined my efforts. But, you know, I think whatever, it, I should get something colorful <laughs> and shimmery, I guess. Um, might add a little bit, I think this is the copper. Uh, Colour. Burnished copper, that one's called. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, really hoping that it, I'm really thinking now I probably should have put a big thicker bed of that paint to sit on, but I've done it now, haven't I? <laughs> So I'm going to put some of my white. And I'll go a bit of the black. Yeah, I should have probably put it on a thicker bed of paint to be able to blow out. So I'll probably completely wrecked it. But, you know, I'll just give it a go. Let's see. Um... Let's maybe just work on that one there, see how this goes. I'm going to use my dryer, I'm not going to blow.
goodness. It's a bit weird, but I can see now the cells coming through. It, it's not, you know, you don't always have to chase cells or, but I mean, these are really colorful ones, so it's nice. I'm gonna just do some squiggles out. And then I suppose I'll give it a bit of a spin. I really cover myself in paint, hey? Why not? Very colorful. Might just spin it. Ugh. Behave yourself, behave. Maybe I need to go the other way. Let's just, just spread it out. I was just trying it with that other pouring medium. Like I said, it, it's definitely worked on the small tile, but it's not, it's got some lovely cells and things and the colors are beautiful. But of course, I would love to see if you can do a blooming kiss. Why not? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Just dip it in where you've got lots of paint to try and get some of the paint. Or well, you can always uh, use a syringe if you've got a lot of paint in one area. Look at those. Yeah, I was hoping that this paint absorbs into the canvas a lot more, but it's a blooming kiss. There you go. Always try to make it your own. <laughs> you might do what everybody's doing at the time or, or learn from somebody, but it's always nice to try and make something your own. So, you know how much I love my balloon kisses? They're just my thing that I love to do and it's really softening this up. So a blooming kiss. And it'd be really interesting to see if that pouring medium gloss allows this to dry nice and glossy without then even having to give it top coat. Now I'm thinking I have got a lot of paint on there. But that is beautiful. If that dries glossy like that, Oh, well, that's a little bit thick there. I could, the one thing that you can do, which I probably haven't got handy, is if you've got a little syringe, is the other half, a little syringe, um, and you've got a lot of paint somewhere, just suck your paint out. And you think, oh no, that's gonna crack if I leave it. Just suck it out, clean it off, and syringe it. In, if you've got a big lump, which I have in places. Wow, I actually really like that. So that's interesting that, like I said, on the little brick, on the small one, that was so beautiful look. It makes a really lovely effect. And that's not a traditional um, recipe for, but that is gorgeous. I might bring the camera down to show you because that is really lovely. Very happy with that. Now I'm playing. I'm adding my, my thing to my art. I am really happy with that. That dries like that. Even if it dries glossy, I still think it if it dries nicely, it will deserve a coat of resin because it'll make those metallics absolutely pop the socks off. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So bear with me people, we'll see how it dries and I'll let you know. And um, that might be a really nice easy recipe, mightn't it? To use that um, global medium and varnish. Okie doke, please look after yourself, take care, have a lovely week or whatever you're doing. Stay safe, stay happy and stay creative. Bye for now.